Imagine a cricket match between Team A and Team B. Both teams are on ground and the final match is about to begin. The arrangements for the match are that all rules are set by Team A. They appoint the match referee, the officials and the umpires for the entire match. Team B has to play knowingly that all the officials are appointed by Team A. What do you think? Is that a fair competition? The same analogy applies to the education sector in India. The government makes rules or policies at every level for all stakeholders. They control education finances and its allocation. And to top it all, they run their own schools. So pretty much, they are the regulators, the financiers and the providers of education. Today in India, approximately 40% of education is provided by private schools. These schools have to comply by the policies that the government frames, else they are de-recognized, closed or harassed. Does this seem fair to you? It is unfair to have the same set of people playing these multiple roles, a case for potential conflict of interest. It challenges fair competition among all the providers. So how can we address these key challenges in education policy? Separate the government's role as regulator, financier and the provider of education. Present a level playing field. Similar reforms have already been successful in several sectors. For example, in the telecom sector, where TRI regulates while all the providers, including the government-run BSNL, compete with each other. We promote accountability of system. What would you choose? Join us at www.ccs.in and engage with us on Facebook and Twitter to demand our right to education of choice in India.